Well, greetings. Pastor Eric here from Zion Lutheran Church in beautiful Redmond. I'm outside the church. I'm where you normally go out after you've been in the safe sanctuary, worshiping, singing, hearing the Word of God, out to the world where things are different, things are challenging. And that's why these words from Moses to the people of Israel are so important. We're on part two, day five. We looked at it yesterday also. Today we're looking again at the words, do not be afraid. Stand firm and see the salvation that the Lord will accomplish among us. When you go out from church, when you go out of your home, those words are so important. When you need to be reminded, don't be afraid, stand firm and see the salvation that the Lord will accomplish for you today. Let me mention three things about that. First, Moses says, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. They're stuck in a cul-de-sac. They have the Egyptians behind them. They've got the mountains on the side. They have the Red Sea in front of them. They're terrified. There seems to be no way out. But Moses says, don't be afraid. Do not be afraid. When you're stuck, like they were, like we sometimes are, when you're stuck, don't panic. Don't be afraid. Restore your confidence in God. Most of the time, that kind of confidence is in God is restored through prayer. Prayer, just prayer. And not only praying for God to help us get out of this, but also prayer reminding us of the Bible stories that God always does the impossible. We talked a little bit about that yesterday. God sometimes specializes in the impossible. The people of Israel with Moses were there in an impossible situation. We know God brought them out, but we need to be reminded that God specializes in the impossible. David defeating Goliath, certainly. That was impossible. Daniel in the lion's den, goodness sakes, that is impossible. Jesus surrounded by 5,000 people all hungry and needing food. Impossible situation. A boat on the Sea of Galilee, like we talked about the other day, in the midst of a horrible storm. Impossible. Jesus in the tomb. Impossible. But God specializes in the impossible. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Let go and let God. Do not be afraid. Grasp onto God. Let go of the stuff that we sometimes deal with and hang on to God. Do not be afraid, Moses says. Second thing he says is stand firm. Stand firm. Stand firm. Stand still. Sometimes, you know the old expression, running around like a chicken with your head cut off. Sometimes that's what we do. Sometimes, at least for me, sometimes I get hamster wheel brain. You know, I used to have a hamster and I was amazed that for, for a long period of time, my hamsters could just go around in that wheel. That's the way my brain sometimes works. Just going a million miles an hour, like with a chicken with his head cut off, sometimes doesn't know where to go or the hamster isn't really going anywhere. Sometimes we need to do what Moses told the people of Israel to do, to just stand firm. Stand firm. Don't run around trying to figure everything out. Don't let your brain go a million miles an hour. Just don't react. Sometimes fear, oftentimes, fear causes us to react rather than to reflect. Moses says, don't be afraid. Stand firm. Third thing he says is not only don't fear, stand firm, but you will see the deliverance that the Lord will accomplish. You will see the salvation of the Lord, it says in other translations. No need to run, no need to hide, no need to complain. Remember yesterday we talked about the people of Israel <laughs> longing for the good old days Paul says, you'll see the salvation which the Lord will accomplish among you today. 
you'll see the salvation for Moses and the people of Israel that was going through the Red Sea, but you'll see the salvation. Sometimes I wonder how important it is for us this is kind of a strange thing, but to visualize what God will do in our lives, to kind of get a mental picture of it, instead of having our brains spin on a hamster wheel, to just visualize what will life look like when God, who has promised to be with me, brings me through whatever it is that I'm dealing with. Maybe, maybe there's a bunch of stuff you're dealing with right now where you need an exodus. You need a way out. You need a way through something that you think is impossible. Like the people of Israel, Moses says, don't be afraid, stand firm, and you'll see the deliverance that the Lord will accomplish among you today. Somehow visualizing how things will be different as you get through whatever it is that you're dealing with. Sometimes visualizing that to be able to see the salvation, the difference that God makes, the, the deliverance that God will bring in your life. Maybe you're just wondering how you're going to make it through all of this isolation, how you're going to survive, um, finding yourself, like we talked about yesterday, between the devil and the deep blue sea, finding yourself between a rock and a hard place. Um, what I said yesterday is, you know, don't, don't tell God the size of your storm. Tell your storm the size of your God. That's what Moses was telling the people of Israel. God specializes in the impossible. God will bring them through. God will bring us through. Don't be afraid. Stand firm and see. See. Use your creative imagination to be able to see the difference that God will make through this whole mess that we're going through. I mean, this is bad. We're starting maybe to start to get out of it. But God is greater. God is greater than anything that we're facing. No matter what we're facing, remember, 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 trust God. Trust God. Look to God. Don't be afraid. Stand firm. Visualize and try to see what God is doing with you and your heart during this time. The deliverance that God is going to bring to you. God will bring that to you. God has done it before. God will do it again. Even when you find yourself between a devil and a deep blue sea, between a rock and a hard place, don't be afraid. Stand firm. When you go out into the world, stand firm and see See the deliverance that God is accomplishing in you today. Let's close in prayer. Heavenly Father, I'm weak. I'm weak, but you are strong. I am a sinner who needs a Savior. Forgive me, change me, use me, direct me to your will and way in my life. Help me trust you when life is difficult. Help me believe when it's hard to believe. And help me know that I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Strengthen us now, God, as you bring us out of this. Help us see the salvation, see the future, see the people that you are calling us to be. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. I look forward to seeing you next time. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.